So Amen. like I said here, everything you do, do it as unto the Lord. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah to God. And that way it will bring glory unto His name. Amen. And you may not under, you may not see it at first, yes. but praise God when you do it unto Him, and you don't let the work stop because Amen. not only you hear a negative comment, but you do it all unto Him, you'll see how God will bring things for His yes. glory out. Come on, amen. It may take a Let's little time, that. but you'll see, praise amen. God, like Nehemiah, he stayed persistent until the walls was built. Amen. Hallelujah. God. He didn't give up. Amen. Because the devil was sending folks in there to discourage him, praise God. The devil's going to do that to you. He's going to send somebody to say, well, praise God, that meeting didn't work the first night. Well, you need to give up, praise God. I'm oh. preaching places, praise God, there are going to be three Bless people you. there, amen to God. Yeah. But you know what? It was still success because Jesus was in the meeting. Oh, Hallelujah amen. to God. Hallelujah. It didn't matter if we had a big old crowd. As long as we had Jesus there, that's all that matters. Amen. He said, well, two or three are gathered together in my name. Oh. There am I in the midst of them. Praise yeah, God. Yeah. He says, so why should the work cease? Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's Come get on. committed. But how many wants to get committed to Jesus tonight? Amen. I mean 100% sold out, yes. committed to Jesus. Yes. Praise God. Because I tell you, praise God, there is benefits with serving Him. Praise God. God promises you so many things. If you're faithful and obedient to Him, it ain't even funny. Read in Psalm 103 verses 1 through 5 about the benefits God has promised you. Come he on. says, forget not all His benefits. Praise God. Amen. Healing. Praise God. God, joy, peace in your life. Amen to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the yeah. Lamb of God. Amen. Praise God. God has got things planned for you. He says, Hallelujah to God. Go and prepare a place for you. That where I am, you may be also. Yeah. So see, running this race, there is a prize at the end of it, but you got to keep going and cross the finish line. Come on, man. Either by the way of the grave or amen to God by the woo, glory to God by the second coming yes. of Christ. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody told me the other day, praise God, they said they don't believe in the rapture. I said, well, you need to get saved. Hallelujah to God, because Jesus Christ is coming back again. I don't care what they say. Jesus said it, and I believe it, and it's so. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. How many knows that God has a work for you tonight? Amen. Are you ready to do it? Amen. I appreciate Brother Jerry and Sister Mary, praise God. Amen. Down there. They're starting up, what was it, the soup kitchen? The Lord laid it upon their heart to start a soup kitchen up. To feed the hungry. Hey, hallelujah. He shot a little to God. Boy, it gets me excited, praise God, because He taught us to feed. Amen to God. And clothe them. Feed the hungry. Clothe the naked. Amen to God. Those are the things to give them a drink. Yes. Because when you do it unto them, you have done it unto me, Jesus said. Oh, that gets me wound up. Hallelujah. I thank God that they want to do that. I thank God for Brother Billy, praise God, still continuing on, amen to God, when yes. people leave him, amen to God, he praise still God. keeps on going for Jesus. Yes. Praise the Lord. That's commitment right there. Amen. That's commitment what y'all are doing over there in, praise God, Green Boy, amen to God. It's commitment to keep going, amen Come to God, on. to go the extra mile, praise God, for somebody. Hallelujah. You may not even know it, but go on the extra mile because you want to show them the love of Christ. Amen. Why should our work cease? Amen to God. Right. Hallelujah. Remember what the old hymn says. Amen to God. Jesus, use me. Oh Lord, don't refuse me. Hallelujah. How many that? Amen to God. How many can say, don't refuse me, Lord, but use me? Oh, Praise hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For surely there's a work I can do, even though it's humble. Help my will to crumble. Lord, that's our prayer tonight. Help our wills to crumble, dear God, where we can be humble. Hallelujah. Though the cost be great, I'll work for you. How many remember that old hymn, oh, Amen to God? Amen. How many just want your will to crumble tonight? Amen. Be humble. No matter what He asks you to do, if He says go to the lowest parts of Africa to feed orphan kids, would you do it? If he says, go over to China and preach the word, where, Come praise on. God, if you say his name over there, you get persecuted, you get Come killed. On. This map right here from Voice of the Martyrs, these countries over here, praise God, these are persecuted countries. Look at America. Yeah. Nothing. And we complain, praise God, that we're persecuted. Come on. Go over there and say, Jesus, and have him cut your arm off. Come on. Go over, praise God, to a place like India. And try to speak 
and tell somebody about Christ. Yeah. Amen to God because they worship snake gods and rat gods over there. Go over there and have them burn the side of your face off with a blowtorch because you said the name Jesus and you've went against their paganistic gods. Come on. We just now passed what the world calls a fun night, Halloween. Come on. And I'm telling you tonight, there I see more churches. I told them this down there Sunday night over at Gospel Life. On my way down, I've never seen churches out there in the parking lot Come on. having truck or treat. Yeah. Yeah. It bothers me. Amen. Yes. I tell you, church, we have, we've allowed the body of Christ to become more like the world. Oh. Praise God, than being separate from oh. the world. He said, come out. Amen. I come out of this. Come on. Amen. He did. I mean, I'm telling you today, we have got to stand up for Jesus. No matter what the cost. Amen to God. Amen. No matter what the devil says. Amen. But you've got to have a passion and a desire for God. Hallelujah. You can get that if you seek the face of God. Amen? Yes, that's Amen. So Hallelujah. We want to see this nation one back to God. What does it say in 2 Chronicles 7, 14? If my people... Yeah. Are you one of His people? Come on. If my people which are called by my name... What's His name, church? Jesus. Jesus. Shall humble themselves. Amen. Humble themselves. Yeah. And pray. Yeah. And seek my face. My face. Oh, God have oh, mercy yeah. upon us, Lord, because we've not done that. But we we fuss and complain about the way America is today. Come on. But we won't get down and pray. Come on. I swear I think we like, to, amen to God, to fuss with one another about things, amen to God, but do something about it. Come on. You as a believer have the authority, amen to God, to do something about it. Yes. God has been laying on my heart for the last several months to get back to more prayer. Yeah. Get back to praying. Amen to God. Amen. Pray like never before. Come on. Pray without ceasing, I said earlier. Because if you want to be successful in the work God has called you to do, you've got to pray. You've got to pray. Yeah. Yeah. And if we want to see God move over this nation Amen. one final time before He returns, yeah. because I believe the former and the latter rain is coming. Amen. I believe there's going to be a great move of God like we've never seen. Greater than, amen to God, Pentecost was. Greater than the Azuzu Street Revival. Greater than all the revivals we've ever heard of in history. I believe it's going to be so great that they'll never stop talking about it. Even after we're gone. But it only comes through prayer. Amen. Through doing what God has called you to do. Amen. Hallelujah. We have to take a stand for Jesus. Amen. Because if you don't take a stand for Jesus, who will? Come on. Amen? Amen. Why should the work cease? Amen to God. Hallelujah. I, I, want to, I want to bring out one more point and then I'm done. I think about Elijah. How many of you remember the story of Elijah, amen to God, on the mount when he fought, when he had the battle with the prophets of Baal? Come on. Yeah. 450 prophets, and I believe there was 400. Yeah, pastors or whatever you want to call them, minor prophets. 850 prophets, if you will, I'm all against good. one man. Yes. Can you imagine how discouraging that is? 850 people against one person in the natural. Yeah. Boy, you just want to give up and quit then, wouldn't you? But see, Elijah went out there with something, praise God, that most of the, the modern day church doesn't have, and that's the Holy Ghost. I'm all. He went out there and he says, you do your thing and I'll do my thing. And the God that consumes this sacrifice with fire will be God. Yeah. They all sit out there all day. Can you imagine them like they do today? They sit out there and they do this and do that. They were cutting themselves. They were yeah. doing this. Out yeah. of screaming out for their God and he wasn't answering them. Yeah. In, all, in the spiritual sense, Satan was laughing at them because he tricked them. He fooled yeah. them. Yeah. He's like, look, I deceived 850 people. Yeah. <laughs> They're deceived. They're out here crying out to a God that doesn't exist. Yeah. Come on. That's That's what right. doing. Then Elijah, praise God, he went up there and he called upon the Lord. Come on. 
And he answered by fire. Yes. Yes, he did. Amen. Yes, did. Yes, did. Amen. Glory to God. What a great victory. Amen. Praise God. But if you see that great victory as we're closing out, the devil came at him shortly after. Yeah. With an attack from Jezebel. Amen. See, when you get a mighty victory over things, Praise God and look out. Amen. Because the devil is going to cause trouble. Come on. The devil is going to stir up in the midst somebody sure Amen. to cause trouble. Yeah. Let me read this, these couple of scriptures and we're done. 1 Kings 19, verses 2 through 4. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 3, And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life, and came to Beersheba, which belonged to Judah, and left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die. Yeah. And said, It's enough now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better I'm old. than my fathers. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, he almost gave in. He was so depressed, he wanted to give up and die. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm so glad he did this. Because God strengthened him and got him back up. And he's doing that today for each and every one of us. Stand to your feet with me tonight, if you will, please. Hallelujah to God. I hope something that was said tonight, praise God, will encourage you, that will, will, will motivate you, that will get you, praise God, to where you want to get back on the firing line for Jesus. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Why should the work cease? Why should your work cease that God has called you into? Why should your ministry come to an end? Because something didn't go your way. Yeah, that's right. It's all about Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I've delivered your word tonight as you've instructed. Thank you for the privilege to bring forth your word. Thank you just for the, the platform here to minister. Lord, I pray, Lord, tonight as we close out. Be with us as we travel down the highways and hedges and go out there on these dangerous roads. I plead the blood over every person in this place, Lord, as we leave out. Over their vehicles, over their physical beings, over their minds, everything. Get us to our home safely, Lord, tonight. Lord, hallelujah, restore back boldness that we once had. Lord God, help us to keep on another day serving you. Help us to keep on the firing line, to run this race by faith, Lord God. Give us a desire to read your word. Give us a passion, Lord, to pray. Give us, Lord God, a hunger for holiness. Lord God, help us to want to fellowship with our brothers and sisters again. And Lord, fill our mouths with your word that we may speak to those who are lost and dying on their way to hell. Thank you, Lord God, for being so loving to us, so merciful to us, even when we fail, not, not do what you called us to do. In Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. 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 And amen. amen. If there's anybody here tonight in need of prayer, praise God. If you got anything wrong physically, something, a battle you're going through, just come on up and we'll pray. If there's anybody in here that's not saved, amen to God. Which I know, hallelujah, everybody is in here, but... If maybe you've kind of backslid a little bit and you want to make it right with the Lord, come on back. Amen to God. He stands waiting. Amen to God. Yes, amen. No condemnation from nobody in here because nobody in here is perfect. We've all messed up, made mistakes. Amen, amen to God. Yes. Yes, but I'm so glad. That's why Jesus is the judge and not nobody else. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise amen. God. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Brother. Amen. Praise the Lord.